there was a recent report that came out for the Center of Disease Control, there's a 56% increase over the past decade of suicides and young people. And we continue to see and hear from students how these issues are impacting them. Our goal is to go in and not to tell kids what to do, but to get them to think about the choices that they're making and how the choices they're making today can impact them for the future. We initially started off being in a ninth grade health class and we've now evolved to middle school presentations. We have a assembly for kindergartners through third grade and another assembly for fourth and fifth graders and an assembly for middle school students. We do a lot of parent education on a variety of topics. We've uh, created what we call Teen Esteem Ed Talks which are like TED Talks, and it's a library on our website of conversations with different people in the communities around mental health, around prescription drug abuse, around technology, when to even introduce technology to your, your kids, and, and how do you go about doing that, what you should know about technology. In the last year, we created a Ed Talk around vaping, because in the last couple of years, vaping has become a very relevant issue amongst young people and we're starting to see middle schoolers becoming addicted to nicotine. And so we're having the conversation with students about vaping. We're trying to help parents understand what to look for, the impact that vaping's having. So we wanna be current and relevant to the issues that kids are communicating to us when we go into a classroom and we engage with them that they're struggling with. Youth culture is continuing to change and we want to be able to be a place where kids can be validated for what they're struggling with in their world. And so it's important to be able to bring a message to kids, number one, that their value is based on who they are and not what they do. It's not their GPA, it's not the college they go to, it's not the sporting team that they're on, but they all have value. And so it's important in the world today for our kids to truly not only understand it, but to be able to embrace it.